This is Melbourne. You're Melbourne. This is Melbourne. 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 Me and Jenny were back in Melbourne so we could meet her little niece for the first time. We came here last year and Maddie had tasting paddle, so he's come back for more and had even better beers this time. It's us, the wealthy Australians. <laughs> After a paddle at the local, we met up with Ash and went to the rooftop of his apartment building. After taking in the spectacular views, we then met up with Ben. After a few jugs of furfies, we had a dumpling craving kick in. So where better else to go than the red door? We wandered round the big smoke and watched the sun set. Hopped over the Yarra and had our final beer at Arbury Bar. We're off to St Kilda in this lovely, lovely weather. Me and Jenny, we are here at St Kilda Pier. When fire destroyed the St Kilda Pier kiosk on 11th September 2003, it seemed that St Kilda had lost part of its soul. As one local resident said, I never thought you could grieve over a building, but that's what we're doing. This careful reconstruction is a response to the deep sense of attachment many Melburnians felt for the whimsical building. First constructed as a pavilion in 1904 and modified over the years, the kiosk was a significant part of the St Kilda landscape. Original drawings from 1904 were used as a basis for the kiosk's reconstruction in 2005. After a brief history lesson from Jenny, we then went to look for some penguins. They've gone fishing. That must be why the... Because it's run by little penguins. Yeah. They're all busy right now. Yeah. We could probably. We made our way down the rock wall and had a look. So little penguins might live in here. It wasn't long until we saw a few. We then headed to Fat Jack's to have a good old beer and a burger. Cheers, Jenny. Cheers, Maddie. Cheers. 
After a decent burger, we then met up with Jill at Itty Bitty. Cheers! 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 Yay. Welcome to Melbourne! <laughs> Did you like the penguins? Yes, love the penguins. These cute little penguins. I think that the ones who are left behind are maybe not feeling very well. They're kind of sad little penguins. Oh no, it's uh, cup day, isn't it? So. Ah, oh, they've got the bets on. Yeah, they got the day off. Yeah, they're watching the telly. It was time for our first trip down the bay. You're like a superhero, Jenny. So what are we going to be doing today, Jenny? Hopefully putting on a nice warm tracksuit sitting in front of a fireplace because it is freezing. Oh, no, I mean, we're going swimming at the beach. What's happening, Maddie? What has become a tradition now, that I like to always swim in the sea or the bay. Last year, came here and swam, a bit chilly. Apparently, it's even worse now. I don't know, I'm just like, the sun's out. Let's give it a bash. But it's windy and it is a bit cold. Right, this is the hard bit. We just got a dip. Dark raving mad. Beachidiot.com. Good day, you. After a rather refreshing dip in the bay, we headed back to Jenny's folks. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Chris. Happy birthday to you. Bip. Hooray! Bip. Hooray! Bip. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Chris made an amazing pistachio and rose bomb Alaska. Oh, it's like a classic place. Of Where are we going, Jenny? Fat Bob's Burger. Fat Bob's. Which has got to be the coolest burger place I have been to. <laughs> best burger I've ever had. The sun was out and it was a Sunday, which could only mean one thing. Sunday sesh! After a good old time in Republica, we then took in the sunset.
Where are we, Jenny? We're at Point Danger in Torquay. We are exploring the Great Ocean Road. This is where it begins. Me, Jenny and her folks hopped in the car, hit the road, and it wasn't too long until we made it to our next stop. We're at Bells Beach, Janjak, and we're looking for Bodhi and Johnny Utah in the 50 year storm. After taking in the serenity and watching a load of surfers, it's time to move on to our next stop. The views along the way were proper decent. After another hour of driving, we'd made it to Norm, where we met some locals and had some lunch. <laughs> After a massive lunch, we headed down to the beach for a little dip. Hey Jenny, where are we? We're at Lawn Beach. Lawn Beach, whoa. Whoa. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> and these teeny little waves are deceptively strong. They are. Well, that's a big one, Jenny. <laughs> After some fun on the beach, we made our way to Lawn Pier. I like how blue and green the, the sea is. I find this scary that there's no railing here. After walking up and down the pier, we left Lawn and hit the road. We saw some pretty cool houses along the way. After cruising along a bit of the Great Ocean Road, we then headed to Cape Patterson. Where we found an amazing little beach. Whoa, this is proper sand. Yeah, this all reminds me of where we used to go camping, which is only, I guess it's an hour and a half or a couple of hours down the road. Oh, this sand. Woo! Some surf behind us. This is a sunrise mission, but it's super cloudy, so we don't know if it's gonna be a successful sunrise mission, but hey, we're up early, and this is the view. Ooh. 
Unfortunately, it was too cloudy to see a sunrise. We had a lovely walk along the beach. We then hopped back in the car and made our way back to Melbourne as me and Jenny got ready to hit up an open mic. Jenny, where are we going? The Imperial Hotel rooftop on Burke Street, Melbourne. Rooftop bar. Hello! <laughs> it's not happy out. Oh, no, it's Whoa. downstairs. Jenny and Jill got a frosé, a frozen rosé. Then we got our drink on with everyone and soaked up the sun. Six foot, I'm an actor in Australia. Oh. Hi, um, a little bit about me. I am six foot. Just. Happy birthday, dear Amy. Happy birthday to you. With the ball. Say that was the most 
most in tune happy birthday I've ever heard. I've been practicing happy birthday for the last 36 years and I think I just nailed it. We went to a few different bars and had a good old boogie and it's time for us to go home. After a bit of a late night and feeling a little bit rough, there's only one thing which could sort us out. A breakfast barbecue. Looking good. <laughs> Looking good. Look the tamales. Smells really nice. Go on. After a proper decent breakfast barbecue, we then chilled out at Jenny's folks. Now after a little while, we decided to go down to the bay and watch the sunset. <laughs> <laughs> 